what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Turning Him Up. I'm your boy LP82, along with my co-host. Young Tig, a.k.a. Wordplay. And of course, the gracious and lovely. Shauna, hi guys. And newly married, newly married, I might add. Yes. Newly married, I might add. <laughs> the panda behind the camera <laughs> handling the audio so so panda, panda. The, so that's matt uh <laughs> the panda behind the camera uh so of course uh you had a beautiful wedding so congratulations thank on that. you very very much congratulations. Nice wedding. it was nice wedding. wonderful to be able to be there it was wonderful having these guys there yes. with us to celebrate so um you know i, I just appreciate all of the of course, of the love that you guys give, and um, it's a, it's a cruel world, you know. You wanna you wanna be around the people that you love, you know, without any criticism. Yeah, which is basically our topic today, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I appreciate y'all for having me. Yes, thank you, thank definitely, you, I appreciate it. Definitely, and yeah, no, I lo- I love the wedding. It was great participating. Yeah, yeah. it was great, great participation. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Y'all was super nervous. <laughs> oh yeah, it was. It was a nerve wracking thing. It's just making sure everything was going exactly yeah. the plan. Which is like you in life, you can't really, um, you know, expect things to go as planned. But when you like plan things from day one all the way up to yeah. that end day, you're just like everything better go perfect. <laughs> yeah, especially with you know how everything is now. Mm-hmm. So it, it was a beautiful wedding. You guys look great up there. Shana, Thank you, you. looked beautiful. Thank you. You looked it handsome, sir. Pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> so, um, so of course. Oh, it was yeah. No, it was, yeah, as, as far as the, the main topic of the day, one of the things that I was going through the wedding, I, I had my nerves. I had my nerves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I ended up talking to the, the venue's photographer, and we were going back and forth on a couple of things, and that reminded me of my young days of going through school and mm-hmm. being criticized by 20 plus people in a classroom. Right. Um, <laughs> right. And everybody handles that one a little differently. Um, whether it be per, uh, professional or personal, how do you, t- how do you, the three of you take criticism? Mm, uh, what about you? Let me try it. All right. We'll, we'll let the, we'll let the newly wife, uh, how, me? go oh. first. Oh no, I was just, huh? Okay. Um, I love criticism. I do. It grows you. I mean, I don't love it immediately. I don't love it the moment I'm getting it. Sometimes it hurts. Right. Um, sometimes it's something I just don't want to hear. But it helps me grow because it makes me kind of stay humble. It kind of makes me feel like, oh, okay. I mean, that's the negative criticism. I mean, criticism doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It could just be, you know, something to just make you better. So, I mean, when I get bad criticism, I'm just like, I know it's going to make me grow later on, and I'll understand. I have to sit back and think about it. Right. I, I don't like criticism. <laughs> I don't I don't like it, but, you know, it is something that, um, you know, if it's, if it's criticism, good criticism, and it's something like I'm working on a project or something, and somebody's putting their input or telling me something I'm doing wrong or whatever, and they have my good interest at heart, yeah, then I, I could take that. You know, but if you just hating or something like, you know, criticism in that way where you just 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 trying to nitpick at what I do, of course I'm not gonna like that. Right. I believe it's all about timing. It's all about who you know it's all about timing, it's all about location, it's all about who it is. Um, so, you know, criticism you know, criticism comes in different forms. It may not be so it's not as direct as some people may think it is. It may be subtle. Mm. It may be it'll be it'll, some people build up with criticism. Maybe one thing this day, next day, and it makes you know when you have that finally sit down. I, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't like none of it. Like <laughs> <laughs> none of the bullshit. <laughs> so yeah, like you said, I, it, it's, it's it all depends. You know, criticism comes in different forms and fashion. So yeah, I feel I feel like criticism is definitely needed though because uh, you know you don't want no yes men around you. They just agreeing with everything you do. You know, right. Some people have to, you know, you, you need that input, you know, if it's going to better you. You know, I don't feel like you should. I, I feel like people should be more open-minded, you know, and, and listen to other people when they, you know, trying to tell them something. It might be something they, they can learn off of, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's criticism coming from somebody that been through what you've been through, mm-hmm. you know, then, it's you know, it's easier for me to listen to somebody that's been through it, you know, and... and you know, they got my best interests at heart versus somebody that's just talking and they, you know, they don't really 
they just going off what they think, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody going to have their right. opinions, you know what I mean? Do you guys, um, have you guys ever gotten criticism by somebody that you're just like, I know you ain't talking to me about <laughs> oh, yeah. certain things. I've had that. I've had where um, I went into jobs, you know, immediately, like uh, let's say, you know, wherever. Um, I went and automatically they want to show me how they do things and they critique how I do things. I'm all like, first of all, give me a couple of days right. to, uh, you know, adjust to the position. Uh, you know, give me a little time, but it's just like, it's like, wow. You know, I mean, I get it. They're trying to help, you know, cause you know, criticism, sometimes people are trying to help you, right? you know, but I mean, it's just the way, like if they don't ask, don't, don't give it, you know? <laughs> yeah, true. You know, I'm getting criticized for my beard. Everybody. <laughs> I know a spot he's going to grow in eventually. I, I'm, well, at least I'm praying and hoping. Even my kids criticize me about my beard. Shave it off. <laughs> I have a freeway in the middle. No, no, no. You, you drop like 10 years. <laughs> I mean, when I was first trying to grow mine in, let it go too long, too early. It just looks like red pubes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying. I'm struggling. patience for that beard, though, man. Uh, I got patients. I got oils. I got shampoos and all kinds of stuff, man. Like, yo, please, I'm praying. They got that, like that so permanent the, beard, my marker beard. You can put in, and it like stains it. I I, you know what the funny thing is? I had that happen to me one time. Well, recently, this guy was cutting my hair, and he was like, he was doing a good job, and all of a sudden, I felt him spraying some on my hair. <laughs> like he was blind. Like he had like cardboard. He was like, tss, tss, tss. I'm like. Like, what you doing all the extra? Shit? Yeah, <laughs> but I looked in the mirror. The shit looked cool. I was scared to wash my hair. I was like, I hope it don't blow, bleed out my head or yeah. something like that. But you yeah, look, you look cool. at the bottle. It says Miracle Grow. <laughs> man, I'm like, man, I spray some out my beard. Show me some love, man. God. So yeah, no, it's, 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 it, you guys take criticism pretty sensitively, all right? Yeah. Um, from sounds of it, you guys need to have. Like some knowledge of like basically like their resume or their history or their background or they got to have some history with you. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, as far as with that, is there like is there kind of like a one and only strategy of like how you guys handle criticism? Like if it like it does it need to be handled in a specific way or do you try to adapt to it or do you just try and escape it or are you just very defensive to it? Drugs. <laughs> drugs <laughs> a lot a lot of drugs <laughs> um no nah, i don't know like i said it all depends sometimes it sometimes it all depends on where you at as far as this as your process of doing whatever you're doing if you're in the beginning stages of your process i'm pretty sure it's a little bit more you're going to feel it a little more because you're just starting off but as you if you're like you feel like you're at a point to where you're comfortable enough to share it with people and and able to take the good with the bad, I think, you know, all that matters. So for me, though, shit, it's going to happen regardless whether I tell them or not. They they could just see me. They could just think I, think about, oh, he looks like he's about to do something and criticize my ass. <laughs> like, yeah, so yeah, you gotta, they say. Yeah, you got to expect that, you know, not everybody's going to like what you do. You know, it's going to be input. It's going to be, you know, people giving their opinions all the time, you know. Uh, it was a time where, you know, somebody said something to me on, on a comment on my YouTube. And, uh, you know, they use negative comments. You know, I hear I heard one one time I heard R.I.P. Tick. You know what I'm saying? You know, just, on my music. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much saying you whack or whatever. You know, they took the time to write the whole paragraph uh, of me, you know, being. But, you know, that's just a part of the game. You got to just be able to deal with that, you know, and, and adapt. Like you said, uh, uh, I think uh, adapting to it and, and realize, you know, everybody's going to have their opinion. You know, good criticism is the best, though, because, you know, you got to look at, you know, who it is that's talking to. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's somebody giving you feedback and they trying to tell you something that's going to help, help you out and they've been through it, you know, it's always good to listen. You know what I mean? So, yeah. You know the word criticism It just sounds negative I don't think yeah. there's Such thing as good criticism yeah. <laughs> Like just say good advice Like fuck That's it. good advice Yeah <laughs> That's That's good I, good I was thinking about The word criticism Just sounds so bad Like <laughs> That's that? such a negative connotation Like oh Criticism But it's good though <laughs> But it's criticism well, I mean, 
<laughs> but look where the word comes from. The word comes from the word criticize. And when people criticize something, they're basically nitpicking at something that they had no portion or a part of doing. That's how I no look at it. Like it. So not one. If it was if it was me giving criticism to somebody though, uh always make sure I, I, I put the good in it too. You know, like let them know, you know, like just say if it's music or whatever, you know, let them know, you know, the good things that they have going on, but something they might could work on a little mm. bit. You know what I mean? But always put that that good in there to let them know too though, you know, I am checking, you know, I'm not just going to just feed you the the bad things yeah. on it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, also give you the good in it too. Like, all right, you do this well, you know what I'm saying? You just need to work on this, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I kind of put it like that. You so, know? Uh, sandwich. <laughs> I, I'm going to be there. I'm going to just beat around the bus. We listen to your music. I like, I respect your hustle. <laughs> I got nothing else. <laughs> it was like, you going to stop and think he ain't nothing about my music though. I respect your hustle. <laughs> Even if it's something as small as that, you know, like your hustle or your work ethic, you know, I might say, you know, you got good work ethic, you know, you just, you know, something. You, need you to might work be aiming on, in the wrong I mean? direction. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I but, think that's the best way to ha to do criticism if you was to give off criticism, not just bash somebody because automatically they're going to take it the wrong way if you say something bad on them. You know, a lot of people take it the wrong way.